What we do, we affectionately call bringing the circus to town. So we take over Regent Street, and we brand it NFL, and we provide all kinds of activities for NFL fans, but then also for people that don't know the NFL to come and experience that. And no other brand or sporting brand would do that here in the UK. When we were trying to work through over the last few years, what are we going to do to break through in, in such a cluttered market? We looked at it and said that regular season games were, were the way to go. You're a challenger brand. You've got to earn hearts and minds. They're not going to be overnight. You've got to be there for the long haul and you've got to execute at a really high standard every single step of the way. So the Jets are going to be early, they're like five minutes away. It's the authenticity, the players. Darrell's here, Nick Mangles here, Fitzpatrick's here. All right. Getting the helmets off the players and bringing them here. So we do a lot of tours with, with players, have them interact. Now we're going to put them on in about four minutes. And then it's grassroots, really, to get footballs in people's hands and teach them about the game. I am at the airport because I'm on the way to London. So I'll be out there and I will be the ambassador of the NFL to London. OCM in Europe is a double Super Bowl winning champion from the New York Giants. Went on to play a couple of years with the Atlanta Falcons. Born in London, lived here till he was seven, and then went over to the States and became a world-class player. And we're really honored that he's now kind of working in our office and helping export our sport. To me, it seemed like the NFL in London is the next frontier, and it's something that I really wanted to be a part of. We have him within media. You see some of the catches that this man has made. He's running all the routes. He can run the entire route tree, which is the nine, the seven, and the five. <laughs> Meeting fans, the presentations, grassroots, inspiring youth. It's busier than me, I know that. Welcome to London, what do you make of it so Backstage at the Trafalgar Square fan rally. Big fan rally that they have for the NFL out here every year. Give it up for this man right here. The NFL wants to export the game, they want the brand to grow bigger, and as you can see there are a lot of people out here already, so this is what's going to translate into bringing the game to England. I think the key thing that fans are looking for is authenticity of experience. Now, it may actually be a British version of what is American authenticity. They want a show, they want razzmatazz, but they also want the best athletes, they want a competitive game. The Bills, the Jaguars from London, and away we go. I guess it's just the, the fact that it's American. It's big and it's bold and it's over the top. Everything from food and beverage to the games, to the players, to the product, it's just completely different than anything they've experienced and they just, they love it and they can't get enough of it. We try and make sure that every game feels like a mini Super Bowl. It feels like a big time event. We're looking to create that tailgate, that pre-game excitement, the build-up to the game. We're looking to build the camaraderie between our fans and to give them something to have that full American experience that they wouldn't have. You can't do traditional tailgating here, so we wanted to provide that to them. We have the Ohio State marching band coming in, so that's something that I'm really excited about. The challenge was, could we do something that A was different, B was of a really large scale and really ambitious, and C would unite NFL fans as this is really cool, this is something that we didn't expect. Marching bands and football kind of grew up side by side in America, so it's kind of a natural fit for when football is, is coming over here um, to bring a marching band as well, I think. Bringing 250, 260 people over for the first time internationally, I think it'll resonate really well. It's like taking another team charter over and Virgin is actually working with us uh, in doing that. There are a lot of people that have a lot of equipment that don't travel internationally so it's been everything from passports to visas to figuring out equipment, you know, making everything ready for them. The NFL asked specifically for a London themed halftime show. We decided on some tunes from some of the more famous groups, the Beatles, Rolling Stones, The Who, and put together a show that we think is really great.
because it's an American experience. And we've never had a marching band at any of our games and can't do much better than Ohio State, so that's great. I also really love the fact that we come up with an act that if you're in the cheapest seats, you actually get the best view. I've now got to start worrying what we're going to do in 2016 to top that. <laughs>